I faked that. What? Yo, what? <laughs> Grip me. Oh, is it insane? You're insane mode mode. Okay, no, 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 listen, 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 no, do not buy this mount. Do not buy this mount. I agree, this mount looks fucking cool. I'm kind of into some furry shit, so this is really doing it for me. It's a beautiful mount. This is an excellent mount. Do not give them shit, okay? 20, 20 pounds. 30 fucking dollars. I don't know how much it costs. It's beautiful. It's a cute mount. I want to ride it in game and, you know, I want to ride it. Um, but they shouldn't be rewarded for this type of behavior. Don't reward them. Don't fucking reward them for let their company go into the fucking ground until they do something about it. They will never fix the game if half of you retards every single time the game tanks and it makes no money anymore buy a 20 pound store mount. They'll never fix it. Uh, wait a second, if you don't like LFR, don't do it. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're a stupid, simple-minded person, that's probably what you'd say. And I understand that, okay? There's a lot of stupid people out there with stupid opinions that aren't really capable of critical thought. And for you, obviously, it is just that simple. There's a lot of things this... Th S for simple-minded people, a lot of things are a lot simpler than they actually are because they don't have the tools in their own brain to be able to, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, they don't have the tools to be able to tell, um, well, now I feel like I'm the stupid one. I'm not moving. I'm sitting right here in this bush. I'm gonna sit down too, they can't see me. DB, DB, ring. Everything? Like this Not sure what's happening? Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, they're uh, gonna bash pick me. Pick I have pick to pick this, probably. Greater, greater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Surge, surge, surge. Oh, I got you. I'm dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm AFK, dude. I'm here. Crazy or give us 10 FPS. Dude, we love the FPS, though. The FPS owns. The FPS was, like, the best change ever. Dude, let's pump up all of our settings, dude. No custom. Just fucking rip my computer, baby. Let's go. Let me let me see everything in crystal clear clarity. All right, it's taken a while. <laughs> it fucking died. It died. What scuff version? Let's check this image out. Dude, this is 0 0.1 seconds in paint. What is this? What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's the newest Twitch em Oh! oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Давай, Queen Line. Queen Line, man. Давай. Готовы? Готовы? Не слышу. Готовы? Сейчас он спустится. Поехали, блядь. Поехали, поехали. Давай, давай, давай. У, сука, блядь. Да ты что, дебил, блядь, что ли, нахуй? Бля, конча, какая конча, блядь, ебаная конча, начинается. Fuck! I... Wait... I... I... Ah! Just a minute be picked up properly you're doing zero dps i don't understand why you open with a fucking chain heal every fucking time am i speaking fucking spanish you put a fucking earth shield on veggie a fucking priest shield and a fucking palm only stop fucking chain healing on the pole stack in white jesus fucking christ i'm so tired of repeating myself this clip is going to showcase the mech jockey, and we're not going to stun him. Typically in this dungeon, you stun the mech jockey, you grip him, you do something so that he doesn't jump into his suit. But I want the cast to go off here so you can see the different types of alerts that Plater brings to the table 
when different priorities occur on various NPCs. So we'll engage the mech jockey and you'll see, see, see that, that little bounce and the different glow to the actual cast bar there. Again, this is bringing, this is bringing attention. It's grabbing your eyeballs so that you notice when something a bit more important is occurring, something you want to interrupt or stun, whatever the case may be. Blinded, I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I cannot be set, okay? Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is Dark Arc 2, man, I'm actually really uh, happy about this. Yeah, I miss, miss. Sure, 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 sure. Full set, full set. Wait, what? I have, a, I have a rock alley out. It's doing Done nothing? That? What? I'm in combat. Right, fix it. I just got sapped in combat. Okay, OS. I'm not scared. I'm hiding. <gasps> I got hit! Oh! <laughs> 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 I got stuck in the post. For the game as a whole, is a step in the right direction. And once you get That's past the first weeks to hear. of the new raid tier, I think loot tradeability is something that helps with a lot of those problems. If you're trying to gear up somebody who came back to the game or who switched mains, the rest of your raid can still pretty quickly funnel loot to them. Or if you don't need an upgrade, but someone else in your raid does, you can pass that to them. Now this breaks down a little bit where item level up... Or you can be forced to pass that to them, because that's the guild's rules. And then you have people that don't loot the items, and they loot them in their mailbox later on. And then the officers in the guild have to go through and look at every single piece of, piece of gear that somebody has. Like this, it's just... I, uh, again, it, it's like these decisions are made in a vacuum. Right? If the problem is trials, like, how many guilds, like, how many trials are typically in a guild? Maybe, like, two or three out of a roster of 28 people. So you're talking about making changes for less than 10% of the population of the, of the guild. So you're changing the guild entirely, changing everybody's experience for something that, by definition, is less than, like, probably 10 or 20% of the population. And you're making it worse for 100% of the population upgrades end up not being yeah, true oh, upgrades for you and you get average. something that you right. don't want to wear but you also can't trade that's a symptom of a larger problem where we're trying to where possible make item level a better guide for what's actually better so overall that's where things stand uh it's an ongoing conversation but i, I think frankly personal loot is here to stay and we should be discussing how what we want to do with it rather than let's just roll it back to master loot because we don't want to get rid of personal loot Personal loot is great. We just don't want to be forced into using it. If personal loot is so good, then you wouldn't have had to continuously remove options for people to use something different than personal loot. If it was such a great system, you wouldn't have to remove every other system in order for people to use the system that you think is so great. It's like, imagine this. You have a steak, you have broccoli, and you have spinach. So, you hate spinach. So, we give you all three of them, you're going to eat the steak. Unless you're a bitch, and then you eat the broccoli. But let's say you're going to eat the steak. Well, then they take away the steak, and you have the spinach and the broccoli. It's like, well, you know, I watched a lot of Athene videos back in the day. We're going to we're gonna eat the broccoli. So, you eat the broccoli. They take away the broccoli, and now you're just eating the spinach. You're not eating the spinach because you like it. It was actually the worst option that there was. But they took away every other fucking option. So now you're sitting there eating spinach like Popeye the fucking sailor. That's not how we're building loot tables anymore. And we feel like the benefits have outweighed the downsides thus far. Next question from Orestes Contos. Uh, how, any change for solo queue, any chance for solo oh, queue geez. in arenas or ranking systems for battlegrounds? Battlegrounds seems boring right now with no reward. Also, always matching with players of low skill or players that lack the necessary drive to win makes things worse. It would be awesome if we could see a comeback of tiers or ranks that would make players work up a sweat, and also transmogs like Grand Marshals that would give people reason to actually focus on winning. So, I think we feel pretty good about how the Battle for Azeroth ranked system with clear tiers as you work way up towards Gladiator I like has, that has a worked lot. out. They're clearly increasing He's asking about Battlegrounds. Great I'm items sure. out of this.